Hey guys, welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to utilise a simple glitch to make your settlements more immersive. For this glitch, all you're going to need is some cloth to create a few rugs. One of the main problems with Fallout 4's settlement building system is clipping. In an attempt to stop visual clipping glitches, items use very precise collision boxes and thus, they cannot clip into each other. Whilst this doesn't affect items that already snap into place, such as walls and floors, this effect is punishing for people that require precise placement next to or even inside other objects. Let's take a look at my example settlement, Starlight Driving. As you can see, I have converted one of the hatches here inside the pre-existing building into a trading post. This gives my settlement life, as not only will the traders stand behind the counter inside the building, but the customers will mill around the stand and sit on the nearby stalls. However, you can't just place the trading post inside the existing counter because of clipping. So, I made this possible using a simple glitch. Build your trading post on flat ground somewhere away from other settlement items. Then, place a rug very close to one of the corners of your item. There is a certain sweet spot to this. Putting it too close will make the glitch ineffective and putting it too far away won't let you do the glitch at all. So you do need to get the right sweet spot, but it's not too hard to find. Now, hold the selection button on the rug, X on PS4 and A on Xbox. This will group the rug and the trading post together into one item. This is why you want to build the item you want to glitch away from the other items, so you're not accidentally dragging half of your settlement around when trying to do this. Now, whilst holding these items, start to try and place them into the object you want to clip into. In this case, it's the pre-existing counter. When you select the rug and create a joint object by holding the selection button, it uses the collision box of the object you selected it on, and not the full selection. Thus, we're using the rug's collision box and not the trading posts. This is what allows the post to clip into certain surfaces. Something you'll quickly learn with this glitch is that angles are very important and you may sometimes need multiple rugs in a line to get proper angles on putting the object into other objects. So again you always want to select the furthest rug away to give yourself the best chance of clipping your intended object into its final place of rest. As you can see using this method we've clipped the trading post straight into the counter. Now assign a settler and there you have it, a perfectly integrated trading post. You can do this with many other things including fences, mismatched walls etc. Thanks for watching, hopefully this can help you to create more immersive settlements. Let me know how you'll be using this glitch in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful, and be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all my streaming video content for games such as Fallout 4, Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, GTA 5 and more. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.